Yeah, it's your boy, Broken Manga, bringing you another tutorial. So today we're gonna talk about the art of doodling. So for you guys who are not familiar with doodling, doodling is when you just kind of freehand some ideas. It may not even be ideas, just things that you're sketching while you're bored, maybe at work or just idle somewhere or, you know, on your phone if you got the um, sketch pad so yeah we're gonna talk about doodling and how it benefits you as an artist yep so before we get started make sure that you like and subscribe and share make sure you hit that notification bell as well so getting right into it I'm doing a just a freehand sketch of a profile view it's an anime profile view from this side and I one of my favorite views um, I think, well, no, I don't think, on the album that I'm currently working on, because I'm a musician, uh, I have a profile view of me two years ago and a current or more recent picture, and I'll show it right here. One of my favorite views to do. Also, I'm currently uh, just doing some random sketches, and this helps for when you're actually about to really, like, go into doing angles or something like that you already like practice you know practice makes perfect right there that's an under the chin view that i was just kind of sketching i didn't really go deep into the detail i just just wanted to do something just to show what i was doing also i'm going to get into doing other things as well on this um video i'm going to do some uh different anime eyes different anime noses uh, I think different types of eyebrows hairstyles etc so you can see other artists that do things like that as well as many of them Mark Creeley is one of them that I, um, I actually started off watching Mark Creeley and he was uh, was showing um, Brody's ghost sketches and he was doing some Naruto drawings and it really I was really impelled by some of the information he gave so I feel you know I can share similar information based on my own journey as a mangaka or an American manga artist so yeah eyes are another thing that I like drawing I like drawing eyeballs it's just something that appeals to me and there's a mouth at the bottom there so yeah we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get straight to it so I'm gonna get another page and let's see what we're gonna do first we're gonna do eyes okay <laughs> so here this is a, a common eye that I normally use for uh, Ronald the Iceland most of the characters have eyes similar to this even though they do vary this is like a standard eye this eye here is more of the classic uh, shocked eye the roundness reminds me something of like the classic Dragon Ball Z look or the Dragon Ball look. This is another one. Uh, reminds me of Krill and I right there. <laughs> Maybe uh, he wrote uh, My Hero Academia for that second eye. But here is another eye uh, of an older person, more squared off. You can actually see the bottom and the top of the lens, the lid of the eye. And we get more in detail with the emotion of the eye. So this is more of a shock, angry, like an upset. You can see like where the eyebrow is bending down over the eye. Then we have another one coming up. And this is more of a fe feminine eye. You can see more of the lashes on the side. Now there are in some cases males that have eyes like this. If they're more exotic or flamboyant, you might see than with thicker eyelashes but for most case I see it on girls and you have the dot you know most time you see a dot it's more like a comical scene going on with that character where they go from a normal eye to an extremely small eye to where you just see a dot then you have the shocked eye there which is more of a <laughs> more like you know they're like really surprised this eye is an eye that I normally would uh, do based off of a profile view angle. And so I'm just gonna keep doing a few more eyes and I just wanna uh, let you guys know that anything that you see attainable or something that you wanna add or you thought was cool in a video, make sure you hit 
hit the uh, subscribe button and comment. Comment in the um, comment section and let me know what you felt about the video. Any insight is always good insight for me. So now I'm, I'm starting to vary it into the noses. So these are a few noses that I've used. Uh, that's more of a Dragon Ball Z nose. I can see that on Vegeta's face in the classic Dragon Ball Z style when Okoye Toriyama was doing the artwork. So uh, different noses, and you can play around with it. Nothing has to be based off what you've seen on TV. You can be completely original. There are some artists that have a more realistic approach. Um, I recently uh, was reading uh, a manga that I'm getting into called I Am Hero, and their approach is a more realistic Japanese manga. And even the artwork, they look like real people, but they look like anime, of course, because it's drawn with pins and stuff, but still, it has a dope look. I really liked it. I enjoyed the first uh, book, which was the first, I think it was 1 through 20 chapters, a thick book. But yeah. So here we go to the eyebrows. These are actually some of the first eyebrows I've ever drawn, which were from Dragon Ball Z characters with the, the thickness, with the little slashes on the side. And then some I've seen from different places. Uh, all of them vary, you know, they vary. And some are freestyle, but just, you got free time and you just draw a page of different eyebrows like this one here that's a freestyled eyebrow i actually seen that in real life um people like uh, i've seen people in my neighborhood wear those kind of eyebrows also uh the artist uh hops in he has eyebrows like that in his look and then you got curly eyebrows there straight eyebrows the eyebrows can vary even no eyebrows <laughs> you know that's kind of like that piccolo look no eyebrows or Super Saiyan 3. Um, yeah. So, uh, just experiment with whatever you do. Experiment, enjoy it, have fun with it, you know. Try not to, uh, like, once you start taking things seriously, you get kind of stressed. Even though if you're trying to build a, ma a manga or a comic book or you're trying to do something, uh, you know, take a more uh, playful approach about it. You know, do it when you're drawing. I know there's a lot of times I get good ideas when I'm just riding around. If I'm in the passenger seat and my wife is driving, I'm just sketching on my phone while nobody's, like, really paying attention. So, here, anyway, we're getting into the mouths. So, these are different mouths. A smile there, the first one. Then you got more of a cheese. You can see some teeth there. Then you got the, the anxious smile that's, like, you know, a little grit, like, Arr! then it, as we continue the mouth begins to get aggressive and you can feel the emotion in the teeth notice how the teeth are getting more a little jagged and you can feel anger transforming into the way the mouth looks so so there's more things to your character emotion than just his eyebrows see how the mouth really puts the character in the picture here this is an open mouth smile I didn't necessarily do the tongue because sometimes you don't see the tongue. Sometimes it's just an open mouth. But then there are cases where you do see the tongue. <laughs> like, oh. And uh, let's see what else we can do. Mm, yeah. Another kind of open mouth, but like a yell. Like, all right. You know? <laughs> that mouth reminds me of like little goku from dragon ball gt war to the video game when i look at that <laughs> so, yeah so the next few videos I'm, I'm trying to be more consistent and i found the schedule so this will be the first time that i officially mention it but every wednesday i'm gonna try to have a video uploaded and ready for you guys to check so if you're subscribed to the channel just know that you can look forward to my art videos coming on wednesdays try to be a little bit more consistent and i feel like if i actually give myself a schedule i can meet it so here we're getting into the hair so i'm just gonna do a circle figure and just put some over it so that's your more spiky dragon ball z like hair right there you know you can get more detail, but a little bang there, spiky bangs. 
And I reference Dragon Ball Z a lot because that was my first anime that I fell in love with. But then you can go simple. This is more of a realistic, bold cut with a part in the middle, you know? Looking like that uh, Boruto version of Gara. <laughs> and then what else we got here? We can actually do a uh, bald head, you know? No hair at all. You know, it varies. And you don't have to be traditional. You can be completely unique with how you do things. The thing is, I say refer to traditional if you don't have an understanding in exactly what kind of look you want. That way, you learn the fundamentals and then you can create your own things. Here, this is more of a cornrow look. Uh, more like a boom dot cornrow, even though the cornrows normally will be closer. You can see, kind of see the parts of how I would have drew lines over the top, but yeah. Cornrows. Uh, let's see, what's another thing we can use? So this is more the spike. Uh, spike, and this is more like Grigel Shalom from the last video. If you were paying attention, you notice I how we're spiky. Uh, let's see, here's another. Um, let's see. Hmm. And I, um, if you're wondering what I'm coloring with <laughs> or drawing with, it's more of a, just a cheap marker, man. I bought my kids these markers during Hurricane um, uh, Sally, and they were coloring with these, and I happened to buy myself a pack. I use any kind of art supply. That's another thing. If you look around the stores, just play around with some of the things you see. If you see a cheap pack of pencils, draw with them. See how it feels to draw with them. And maybe they may be something that you can add to your arsenal. You might have an upper advantage on drawing with that particular pencil. With me, I feel like I have an upper, adva a upper advantage with certain mechanical pencils. Yeah. And this is more of a wild locks. If I can pull the camera down so you can see it a little bit better. But it's locks right there. And you can do those any, you know, any which way that you feel. Uh, what else we got? yeah so still staying inspired with what i'm doing um very motivated i've been getting um like good results and people have been like really commenting and letting me know that you know they appreciate what i'm doing and it's actually something soothing so you know i appreciate that you know if i can help you chill out relax from your um your reality cool chime in you don't have to be an artist to watch me draw a lot of people in my class were not artists they like different things like music or hairstyles or clothing trends and stuff but they chimed in on some type of art that helped them you know kind of focus for a minute now yeah so those are the hairs what we're gonna do next so we did the eyebrows uh, we did the mouth, we did hair. What we got here? Well, this is gonna finish up with a quick pick. So I'm gonna I'm do a profile, uh, a profile view of me in anime form. <laughs> yeah, I like it uh, because it's my favorite one. So I figured, you know, I can do this quick, no thought, and you just see, you know, a little something quick for you to look at before I close out. Remember to like, subscribe, share this video with a friend, uh, post it on your social links. <laughs> if you don't personally want to shoot it in somebody's DM, you just put it on your page. Hey, look what I saw last night. Yeah. So I'm drawing my locks and my locks are actually getting longer. <laughs> no, I was just washing my hair not too long ago. Locks are getting longer. I'm thinking about advancing my uh, other youtube pages but for right now we're just gonna focus on the art yeah got my ear going and that's what i didn't do i should have did that but maybe next time we'll talk about ears i've realized ears are really interesting to draw you know if you don't know how to draw them um you can actually end up in a situation on certain angles, how the ear looks from a side view, how does it look from straight ahead? Those are actually some important things that we I could go over in another video. But yeah, so we got this young, uh, sharp chin version of me, so I'm gonna have to put some hair on that. 
<laughs> put some hair on that. Let's see, you know. Uh, eyelashes, you know. Darken them up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a, definitely got to throw a beard on there, man. You know. Even though I did recently shave, I normally rock a mustache, beard, goatee kind of look. <laughs> and I'm not going to, you know, this is not a very detailed marker. What I will do is just kind of give a more of a cell shade manga look towards the build, build, uh, the beard. <laughs> Rambling right there. <laughs> yeah, you know, just straight lines. And I'm gonna even put some straight lines on the locks itself. Yeah. So I wanna thank you guys for watching the videos. I appreciate it if you subscribe. If you have it, go ahead and hit it again. <laughs> and um, hit that notification bell. I'll be posting you guys more videos coming soon. Remember every Wednesday. So if it's a Wednesday, don't forget to stop by my page and see if I got something new. It might surprise you. You know, and um, just thank you again, man. I appreciate anybody that like, post, share, talk about. Even if I can't hear you talking about it, even though you're speaking about it, it's, it's building an interest to people to look to my page and check me out. And also, if you, uh, if you want to see more things other than arts, I do. You can follow me on Instagram at Prodigal is Back. That's my music page. I'm also Broken Manga. And peace. I'm out of here. Thank you.